Hello! Uh, I thought I would make a video showing people how I use an ARC notebook for my Pathfinder game um, to organize my character sheet and any kind of spell trackers and my spell book. I play a bard so I do have spells and my memory is really bad so I find it useful to have a physical copy of these things so I can flip through them. So in case you didn't know, an ARC notebook is a system from Staples in the US. The book is bound by discs. I'll just show you. This is a vinyl decal that I drew and cut out with my Cricut because I like shiny things and I thought it was funny to make work hard, slay harder into um, something for um, tabletop games instead of business stuff because whatever. Um, so the ARC notebook is, instead of having rings, it's bound by these discs. Anyway, Let's just get into it because I'm really bad at speaking. So this is what the inside looks like. I have my old character sheets for Pathfinder here. I've got some bookmark used for notes and lists and stuff. These are refills for my friction pen right here. I do color code my notes and because I have the four color friction pen, I've got black, blue, green and red. The cartridges are kind of small so they do tend to run out. I do take a copious amount of notes during my game. These are business card holders that I intend to use for my magic items because I can never remember what they do. This is a dry erase sheet from a scrapbook pad that obviously I'm using as a spell tracker for spells and performance things. I want to make something that's laminated though so it's not quite as um, ugly <laughs> but I, I'll do that some other time. So this is my character sheet. Obviously because this is a half letter size notebook I had to reformat everything. I designed this in InDesign. I am a graphic designer so that was a lot of fun for me to do. I've got my attacks down here. This is the portrait that I made of her. This is Eugenia Ashdown Stormblood. That's her name. She's a half orc Bard. This is the giant watercolor portrait that I made of her that I just sized down and added some embellishments to to make it more, I don't know, appealing <laughs> to me. <laughs> Instead of having um, a space up here with race and, and name and all that stuff, I have a character description instead. These are all her stats, her hit points, damage box, and then inside you've got her skills and AC items, you've got an inventory, money and experience, and then gear spells, weapon and armor proficiency. And then, as I've mentioned, my memory is really bad. And this is this is my second go around with Pathfinder. And I always forget to do something while leveling up my characters. So I made this level up map to help me out when I'm leveling up my character. So I made it to look like a game board. So I usually color these in, but I haven't because we just recently leveled up and had a game, so I didn't have time. So level one has a feat and it has the number of skill points that I get and has your stats that will go up or down, has any special abilities that you are going to earn and how many spells and spells per day that you're supposed to have. So this also to fix my base attack bonus increase because um, on, on my weapon attacks because previously I hadn't remembered to do that and my character had been like level 12 in my last game and it was an issue. But yeah, we are up to level 8 now. I've had some issues here like I repeated some things or, or whatever but um, this has been really helpful for me because it, you know, my memory's bad. And then, so getting into the spell book part, we've got the list of special abilities and feats, and then we have spells, and I got these, I used, what are these? Avery tabs, I think? And I use them to separate my spells by level. Then I have my magic items and armor chart that I just made recently that I still have to fill in. And then I also separate my experience by session and my gold by session. And then these are, these are all coming into my notes. So I take, as I said, a copious amount of notes during my session so that I can remember what's happening. So things that I typically take notes on are NPCs that we've encountered, anything that's miscellaneous. I used to take uh, like a quote of the night because sometimes sessions get uh, really hilarious, but that hasn't always happened. So this is notes on the hold of Belksen. My DM also assigns us writing assignments. So this is a sonnet that I wrote, which was awful. So don't read that. Just doing flip through the ad. Like this is just basically general notes. I put in stickers to 
I don't know, make it look a little prettier. I usually set the page up right before we start playing because um, I'm a bad person and uh, I don't do this beforehand. But I, I would like to start doing it beforehand. This is where I ran out of black ink. I used to use blue for personal notes, but then my black ink ran out during a session so I had to use it for everything and that irked me. Red usually I use for anything that is important or um, something that I sold or lost while green is something that I gained. All of the items here that were from looting bodies or whatever. <laughs> and then I have a to-do list for either myself personally or for my character in game. Yeah and then sometimes there's a lot going on and I don't have time to fill out the boxes at all. And then I have a loot and experience box. And <laughs> so this is where our adventuring group was called the Chaos Pickles. We were originally temporarily called the Red Shrikes. And then our, our friend Tyler, who plays Marcus, who is our cleric, he kept drawing pickles and, and we started calling it the Chaos Pickle. And then I was like, I think we should just call ourselves the Chaos Pickles. And but the funny thing about Marcus is, is he's lawful good. So having a, a lawful character that's in a group called the Chaos Pickles um, it makes him groan every time that uh, our name comes up. But anyway, it's a thing now. And yeah, that, that's really about it. And then these are, these are just the rest of my notes. And I, I colored a little bit. And this session, something really unexpected happened. We ended up killing someone that I didn't think we were going to kill. And so I put this sticker here. We have a strategic plan. It's called doing things. I thought that was pretty accurate chaos pickle quote, um, even though it's by Herb Kelleher. It's not. Whatever. So yeah, my, my penmanship is really bad, so don't mind that. <laughs> and that's that's pretty much it. That is... Oh yeah, and I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I use a dot grid paper. It is this paper here from Unpunched Refills on Amazon. And I punch it with this hefty arc punch and that cuts out it's almost like a mushroom shape out of the paper and as you can see you can just pop those pages out which is why I like the arc or disc bound or even happy planner it has the same kind of system levenger is in another brand that uses the disc system but you can just put those in and you can also you know move things around so let's say I wanted to move my what's this called business card sheet that i'm going to use for my magic items back toward where even is it my magic item and armor thing is let's say i wanted to put it here because i want to understand what those things do and have them together because that would actually be kind of smart and i'll just put that in there yeah, i can just put that in there look how easy that was it's amazing and like i said i i do want to make something different for this so that it's not quite as whatever it is what it is. If you go to Staples, the Arc System has um, their own dividers and stuff like that. I print these out every single time I, I level up. So I, I just take the tab off and stick it on again. I do have to cut things in half, obviously. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, I've got a little pen loop here. Mine is kind of stretched out because my pen is fat. And that's, that's it. That's how I use the disc bound system to Keep track of my character sheet and my game notes and all of my little game stuff and I'm sorry that I ramble so much but um, hopefully that is helpful to somebody out there somewhere okay bye <laughs>